What keeps me going in my daily devotions is uh, Acts chapter 7. That's not my favorite book, by the way, but in Acts 7, it says that Scripture are the living words, living oracles of God. Well, if that's true, and we come to any part of Scripture, we can expect and should believe that we're going to be transformed by the living oracle. It's not a dead word. These are living oracles. And one of the things that has really helped my prayer life, because it's so filled with Scripture, is uh, the Valley of Vision by Banner of Truth. If you do not own a copy of the Valley of Vision, let me know, and I'll give you a nickel towards the purchase of it. <laughs> and if you need more, let me know. But really, I pray through those. Uh, I pray through one of those every day. They're marvelous. They're pur- the prayers of the Puritans. And, 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 and also, to turn Scripture into prayer in your devotions, personalize it. One thing I've done, it's funny, you, you mentioned Psalm 51. I've memorized most of Psalm 51. When I began to, I began to realize, you know, I, not just when I'm reading should I turn into prayer, but it'd be nice when I'm traveling or wh- whatever, and I don't have a Bible before me to have it in my mind. And, I, I, you know, it's hard for me to memorize, quite frankly, but you, but you can do it, even if you're not a good memorizer. And, and so to, to, to pray through those words and, and to turn them into prayer. A lot of times it doesn't take much to turn Psalm 51 into prayer because it is a prayer.